Hi, this is Sahana. In today's session, I am going to show you how to add logo to this web application. This is ASP.NET Core MVC web application. Here, instead of this text, we are going to add logo. This is our project structure. Here, can you find the folder by name www root? This folder is called as web root directory and, and this folder is usually used to store the static files such as CSS files, JavaScript files and images. Inside this folder, we are going to create one more folder by name images. Right click, add, new folder. Name it as images. Enter. I will store my logo image inside this folder. Right click. Here you will find the option open folder in file explorer. I will paste image here. Now we have our logo image inside this folder. We want our logo image here. If you notice, this is the header portion of our application. In this project, we have so many folders and files. Can you guess where do we have a marker for header? Here inside use folder, you have a special file by name layout. This is inside shared folder. Here we have a file by name underscore layout. This file decides the structure of our application like the navigation menu, header, footer, content area, everything is decided here. Everything is structured here. Let's quickly look at this layout file. Here we have head and body. Okay, this is the head section. Here all these style sheets and other files are linked. Then we have body here, body section. Inside body section, we have header section, then a div where, um, where the content is rendered then we have a photo. If I expand header, again we have a nav element. Inside this nav element, we have a div element. Inside this div, we have an anchor tag here, then a button and again a div section. If you notice this anchor tag, here we have this ASP.NET Core MVC intro. This is the place where we are going to place our logo image. Instead of this text, we are going to have image here. If you want to confirm this is the right place, instead of this text, you can write something like logo, save and you can check the application. See, instead of, uh, instead of the project name, we have text logo here. So this means we are at the right place. Instead of this text, now we are going to place actual image. To insert an image, we should use image tag. We will write IMG. Now, tag is ready. Now we should write the location where our file is stored. We should use source attribute SRC. Then see here you have images folder. Then you have logo image.png. Let's save and see how it looks. We have an image, but see it is taking lots of space. Now we are going to fix this issue. This image tag has attributes called height and width. We are going to make use of them. After this source attribute, I'm going to write height. I will mention height as 50 pixel. I have one more attribute, width. Um, the same thing, I'm going to mention 50 pixel. Let's save and see now. See, it is taking less space. If you want, you can increase the height and width. Successfully, we have inserted logo in this application. You can download the source code from my git repo. You will get link in the description. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for your support. See you soon in the next video. Thanks for your time.